Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this beam using flexibility matrix method. Before analyzing, let's see the beam one time. In this beam, there are two spans, span AB and span BC. In the span AB, there is a point load 48 kN acting on the center. In the span BC, there is a uniformly distributed load 15 kN per meter acting for the full span. In the point A and the point B, there are hinged supports. In the point C, there is a fixed support. The span AB is 3 meter long and span BC is 4 meter long. In this beam, the number of unknown reactions and movements are 4. They are RA, RB, RC and MC. The available equilibrium equations are 2. They are sigma m is equal to 0 and sigma v is equal to 0. The degree of static indeterminacy is equal to 4 minus 2. We will get 2. Let us release mb and mc. When we release mb and mc, this continuous beam becomes two different simply supported beams. This is called the released structure. We have made the released structure. Now let us make the coordinates diagram. In this analysis, there are two coordinates. In the point B and in the point C, we are having the coordinates. Because in these points only, we have released the moments. Now let's see the formula to calculate the final moments. P matrix is equal to delta matrix inverse into delta matrix minus delta L matrix. Here P matrix is the final moments or forces. Delta matrix is the flexibility matrix. Delta matrix is the final displacements. Delta L matrix is the displacement in the coordinate direction. Inside the P matrix, delta L matrix and delta matrix we will have two values because in this analysis there are two coordinates. Inside the P matrix we will have the final moments MB and MC because these are the moments we have released. In this formula now let us calculate the delta L matrix. We know that delta L matrix is the displacement in coordinate direction. In this analysis, we have released the moments. So the displacements are the slopes. We can calculate the slope values using the conjugate beams. In the beam AB, there is a point load 48 kN acting on the center. If in the simply supported beam, point load is acting on the center, the formula for maximum bending moment is WL upon 4. Using the formula, we can calculate the ordinate. In the beam BC, there is UDL 15 kN per meter acting for the full span. The formula for maximum bending moment is WL square upon 8. Using the formula, we can calculate this ordinate. We know that in the conjugate beam, we have to divide the moment by EI. Let us name the conjugate beams A dash B dash and B dash C dash. In the delta L matrix, we have to calculate two values delta 1L and delta 2L. Delta 1L should be calculated from the first coordinate. Delta 2L should be calculated from the second coordinate. Now let us calculate delta 1L. For that, we have to find the slope in the point B. In the conjugate beam, the slope is the shear force. In the point B dash, the shear force is the reaction RB dash. So, for delta 1L, we have to find RB dash. RB dash should be calculated in both of the beams, in A dash B dash and in B dash C dash. 
First, let us calculate RB dash in the beam A dash B dash. Here we are having symmetrical loading. So we can easily calculate RB dash by taking the total load. The total load divided by 2, we will get RB dash. Here the area is the total load. For this triangle, the area formula is half into breadth into height. Using that, we can calculate the area. Area upon 2, we will get RB dash. Now, let us calculate RB dash in the beam B dash C dash. It is also a symmetrical diagram. Here, we can easily calculate RB dash and RC dash by calculating the total load and then divide it by 2. Here, the total load is the area. The area formula for this parabola is 2 upon 3 into breadth into height. Using that, we can calculate the area. The area divided by 2, we will get RB dash. For delta 1L, we have to add these two values. After adding, we are getting 67 upon EI. Now, let us calculate delta 2L. For that, we have to find RC dash. RB dash and RC dash will be same because it is a symmetrical diagram. So, RC dash is also 40 upon EI. Let us apply that for delta 2L. In the delta L matrix, we have calculated delta 1L and delta 2L. Let us apply the values. 1 upon EI is constant. So, let us keep it outside. Alternatively, Using the formulas, we can calculate the reactions. First, let us calculate in the beam A dash B dash. Here, we have to calculate RB dash. The formula is WL upon 4. Here, W is 36 upon EI. L is 3. When we apply the values inside the formula, we are getting 27 upon EI. Now, let us calculate the reactions in the span B dash C dash. Here, we have to calculate RB dash and RC dash. The formulas are WL upon 3 and WL upon 3. Since it is symmetrical, we are having the same formulas. Here, W is 30 upon EI, L is 4. When we apply the values inside the formula, we are getting 40 upon EI. Using these values, we can make delta 1L and delta 2L. So, using the formulas also, we can make the delta L matrix very easily. In this formula, we have calculated delta L matrix. Now, let us make delta matrix. Inside the delta matrix, there will be two values. Because in this analysis, there are two coordinates. Both of the values are 0 because in the given beam, there is no overhanging. In this formula, now we are going to make the flexibility matrix. Let us see the size of the flexibility matrix. For 3 coordinates, the size will be 3 by 3. For 2 coordinates, it will be 2 by 2. For 1 coordinate, it will be 1 by 1. In this analysis, there are two coordinates. We know that for two coordinates, the size will be 2 by 2. Now, let us calculate the first row in the flexibility matrix. For that, we have to apply unit movement in the first coordinate. In the point B dash, when we apply the unit movement, here the movement will be 1 and here it will be 0. Using that, we can make this diagram. Also, here it will be 1 and here it will be 0. Using that, we can make this diagram. Delta 1, 1 should be calculated from the first coordinate. Delta 1, 2 should be calculated from the second coordinate. For delta 1, 1, we have to calculate RB dash. RB dash should be calculated from both of the beams. First, let us calculate RB dash in the beam A dash B dash. The formula is WL upon 3. 
here w is 1 upon ei l is 3 when we apply inside the formula we are getting 1 upon ei now let us calculate rb dash in the beam b dash c dash the formula is wl upon 3 the same formula here w is 1 upon ei l is 4 when we apply the values inside the formula we are getting 4 upon 3 ei for delta 1 1 we have to add these two values after adding we are getting 7 upon 3 ei now let us calculate delta 1 2 for that we have to find rc dash the formula is wl upon 6 here w is 1 upon ei l is 4 when we apply the values inside the formula we are getting 2 upon 3 ei for delta 1 2 let us apply the value of rc dash now let us find the second row in the flexibility matrix for that we have to apply unit movement in the second coordinate when we apply unit movement in the second coordinate here the movement will be 1 and here it will be 0 using that we can make this diagram for delta 2 1 we have to find rb dash for delta 2 2 we have to find rc dash let us see the formulas for rb dash the formula is wl upon 6 and for rc dash the formula is wl upon 3 here w is 1 upon ei l is 4 when we apply the values inside the formulas we are getting rb dash is equal to 2 upon 3 ei and rc dash is equal to 4 upon 3 ei for delta 2 1 let us apply the value of rb dash for delta 2 2 let us apply the value of rc dash in the flexibility matrix we have found both of the rows let us apply them 1 upon ei is constant let us keep it outside in this formula we have calculated everything let us apply the values we can add these two matrices after adding we are getting this 1 upon ei inverse is equal to ei then we can eliminate this ei and this ei for this matrix we have to find the inverse we can apply all of the values in the calculator and get the inverse then we have to multiply these two matrices after multiplying we are getting the moments mb and mc in this analysis we have calculated both of the final moments now we are going to calculate the reactions for calculating the reactions we have to split the beam as per the spans here there are two spans ab and bc so we are splitting the beam into two parts ab and bc for the span ab mb will be acting in the clockwise direction for the span bc mb will be acting in the anti clockwise direction and mc will be acting in the clockwise direction First, let us take the span AB and calculate the reactions. In the span AB, there is only one moment, MB, which is acting in the clockwise direction. By taking moment about B, we can calculate RA, which is equal to 16.17 kN. By applying the rule, summation of vertical forces is equal to 0, we can calculate RB1 which is equal to 31.83 kN. Now let us take the span BC and calculate the reactions. In the span BC, there are two moments. MB is acting in the anticlockwise direction and MC is acting in the clockwise direction. By taking moment about C, we can calculate RB2. By applying the rule, summation of vertical forces is equal to 0, we can calculate RC. In the point B, we have calculated RB two times. Let us add them. After adding, we are getting RB, 
which is equal to 63.14 kN. Now we are going to draw the shear force diagram. Before drawing the diagram, let us calculate the shear force values. I am calculating the values from the point A and towards the point C. In this case, I am moving right hand side. Upwards will be positive and downwards will be negative. Using the concept, I have made the values. Using the values, we can make the shear force diagram. Now, we are going to draw the bending moment diagram. For that, we have to make the free moment diagram and the end moment diagram. Finally, we have to combine both of them to get the bending moment diagram. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.